station. This is Houston. Are you ready for the event? I am ready for the event. NBCToday.com, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Station, this is NBCToday.com. How do you hear me? I read you loud and clear. How about me? Loud and clear. Thanks for joining us. We know it's my pleasure to be able to talk with you today. Uh, we'll start with our first question. My pleasure as well. We'll start with our first question from our 30 Seconds to Know segment here for uh, Commander Copra. What are the House rules on the International Space Station? We know it's a great question, and uh, the House rules are simple. And uh, they're also probably unstated because they're part of the culture of the astronaut corps and the cosmonaut corps. And that is be respectful and courteous to your crewmates, pick up after yourself, and then build a good relationship and maintain that with all the different centers around the world that support us every day. Okay, great. And now we'll bring in uh, flight engineer Jeff Williams for our morning routine questions. And uh, we'll get started with what time do you guys wake up and how can you even tell that it's morning? The only reason we can tell it's morning in our work day is because of the, the time it is. So we set our alarms to wake up. We work on Greenwich Mean Time uh, and typically get up at six in the morning. How do your workouts in space differ from the workouts that you do back here on Earth? We know uh, one of the differences is that we are scheduled every day, so there's really no excuse to, uh, to not work out. One of the main differences, I brought my harness here. We uh, have a treadmill, and we have to strap ourselves down to the treadmill with this harness. So that's one of the biggest differences. Besides that, lifting weights, it feels almost identical to what we do on the ground. And we have a bicycle here that's isolated from station, but it feels like riding a stationary bike. Okay, great. I mean, you're away from home for so long. You're away from Earth for so long. I mean, do you have any mental health routines that you do in the morning to kind of help you get through the time up there? Oh, I don't know if we have any specific routines in regards to mental health. We're all, um, we've been checked out pretty well, pretty thoroughly before the flight anyway. Uh, we're just, we're very busy up here. We're very focused on getting the work done. Uh, and also, uh, from a personal point of view, uh, there's a lot to enjoy up here that's very unique. Uh, to look out the window and view the earth, uh, to do all the things that you might imagine you can do in a weightless environment. Uh, so there's no, uh, there's no real issues in terms of mental health here. When it comes to some basic things like cutting your hair or shaving or clipping your nails, I would think that could be a little bit difficult. I mean, how do you guys do basic grooming things like that up there? You know, it is different, and you have to make adjustments. You know, so clipping your nails, you probably need to use a vacuum cleaner or uh, do it near a vent, then use a piece of tape to collect it up. You know, I brought my razor. My razor, I use this... Uh, you know, a few times a week, probably not every day, but, you know, all the, the whiskers stay in the blade, and we use a new blade every time. And then uh, cutting hair, we have a vacuum cleaner, sort of like uh, a Floby sort of device, and you cut your hair, and, uh, you know, we're not that great at barbers, as barbers, but we do a decent job, and it does the trick. What is the most radical adjustment in your morning routine in space compared to down here on Earth? Uh, I don't know if you'd describe it as radical, but uh, on Earth we get up at home typically, like uh, most people, 
and uh, you do the things that you do at home before you leave the house, and then you pull out of the garage and head off to wherever you're going for the day. Usually it's to work, your workplace. Here we get up, we come out of our crew quarters, and we're in our workplace. So we can uh, we, we look at the what's on the plan for the day uh, as soon as we get up. Uh, of course, we have breakfast and that kind of thing, but we're really we never leave our workplace. So that's probably the biggest difference. Are there parts of your morning routine on Earth that you keep the same out there, up there in space, to kind of remind you of home? You know, I'm not sure that uh, I keep any parts of my routine the same to remind me of home, but there are some things that uh, I think all of us enjoy. That first cup of coffee in the morning, you know, maybe reading the email, see if you got some messages from overnight from friends and family, and those are pretty consistent. Uh, and, you know, really, life is very, very similar to the earth in terms of the pace of work. We have a, a long work day, as, as Jeff mentioned, uh, but of course there's things that are radically different. The fact we're in zero gravity and, and uh, when we do have free time, we have this tremendous view. What time do you actually eat breakfast after you get up? Well, that depends upon the individual. Like, uh, I'm... Uh, not inclined so much to eat breakfast. I'll have coffee, as Tim mentioned, coffee is very important uh, for most of us, so I'll have, have that. Uh, typically, it's a few minutes after 6 o'clock, or oftentimes I'll wake up a little bit early. I mean, I have, have that habit on the ground as well, maybe get up at between 5 and 5.30, have coffee, um, kind of get uh, my thoughts together for the day, and then, and then maybe graze a little bit for breakfast or graze uh, through the morning whenever you get a break. And I know part of your work day up there is, you know, doing different experiments and tests and things like that. I mean, is there a, a, a favorite experiment you have to do in the morning? Our routine is, uh, is varied, and so every week is going to be a little bit different. Sometimes it's very maintenance-oriented, and we're fixing things that are broken or routine maintenance. Other times it's a brand-new experiment, and so uh, t sometimes those only run for a few days or maybe a few weeks. I had an experiment in a, in a glove box here in which it was a combustion experiment, and there were flames here inside this confined area, so that was pretty entertaining to be able to burn things in space. That's probably one of my favorites so far. What type of food do you guys eat for breakfast? And I guess, do you have any samples you might be able to show us? Well, we have a different uh, variety of food, I guess you could say. We, uh, we have some food that's ready to eat, where we just put it in the oven, heat it up, and then open up a package. Most of the food comes in packages like this. This is actually a drink container. Uh, our coffees, for example, are in a container like this, and we add hot water, uh, shake it up a little bit, and then uh, drink it through a straw. Uh, other food uh, we have is uh, dehydrated, and we'll inject hot water in it, let it sit for uh, 10 minutes or so, and then cut it open with a pair of scissors and, uh, um, and um, eat it. It's, uh, other than that, it's pretty much the same as on Earth. Yeah. A lot of people will wake up early to see the sunrise. What's the view like for you guys when you wake up early and look out the window? You know, it varies. In fact, uh, you know, you talked about uh, routines. I really enjoy getting up in the morning, and if I want to really start going, I'll look at, at World Map. It's a program we have that shows us where we are on the planet, and uh, it's very easy to get excited about that next photograph that you can get. And so. Uh, that's probably one of the things that, that I enjoy doing. When you first get up in the morning and you can look out uh, the window, and it's always going to be a little bit different because our orbit is changing. Orbit's staying the same, actually, but our view and our place on the planet is changing. All right, thank you so much to uh, Commander Copra and Flight Engineer Jeff Williams. Our pleasure. Nice chat with you. Station, this is Houston ACR. Thank you. That concludes the event. 
Thank you, NBCToday.com. Station, please stand by while we reconfigure video and audio communications.